Hey y'all, it's me, Laura B. at Craft and See with Laura B. How are you doing today? I am well, thank you. I'm sorry, squirreled there for a second. Today, we are going to be working more in our Janie B. journal, Ode to Janie B. And, sorry, got distracted by my dog. And I am going to, I did a little mixed media just a little bit and we are going to make tags out of them so here it be now I'm gonna stand up because I switched my iPad around the right orientation I am sorry about that glare there I try to minimize it as much as I can which is why I use my cutting mat but I do not want to I try not to get glue and stains and all that kind of stuff on it to keep it looking nice as long as possible and the other thing I have done is I got photo paper finally. Yes, Jamie. I got photo paper and uh, did some alcohol ink work. And I thought it would go spectacular with this. And so I did some fussy cuts. I have some bees. I have a couple bee dies. Like the cute little fat fluffy bumblebee and then the looks more like a moth to me but we're gonna use it as a bee and then I cut out some of the Tim Holtz mini wildflowers that comes with the jar and which is a bow I did not cut one out but I wondered what they were for the longest time um, anyway so this is the what the back looks like so I chose to use this blue because I thought it would bring out the blue nicely and now I just have to figure out where I originally scored it or folded it. I had thought about cutting it in half lengthwise and then or vertically or horizontally and then vertically, but I'm doing this instead. Trying to make three as close to three equal size tags as I can possibly get. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, with the Ode to Janie B, obviously it's just a Mod Podge a hot of her works, of all the kits that I have, which are plentiful and numerous and abundant. Oh, that looks like it just went right along there. So, alright. They're not perfectly sized, but not bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, my throat. I know Isabel, but I just did that so you don't get it again. She, uh, she has issues. I love her. She has issues. That's all I'm going to say to that. So, oh, trying to talk, speak up. I did turn the volume on my iPad all of the way up. So hopefully, just making sure I'm still in frame. Hopefully. You guys can, I'll stay in frame and you guys can see me in. Hear me. Hear me. That's what I'm trying to say. Hear me. I didn't realize I talked that quietly until just about everybody I know tells me to speak up. Which, as I've said before, was a stark contrast to growing up because I always got in trouble. Not because I have a loud voice, but... My sister, older sister, could be goading me on in the background, but she was quiet, and my reaction was loud, and so I would be the one who got in trouble for whatever we were doing, for reacting to her. You know how old, some of you know how older siblings are. If you don't, well, they ought to pick on somebody, right? It's kind of like a rite of passage, I think. Now these are obviously going to be very tall tags. You know, a good seven and a half inches. But that's okay. I'm keeping it the way that it is. I like it. I like it like that. It is, I'm recording this on Sunday. This should go up tomorrow on Monday. Yes, I know. Oh my gosh, she's doing it early. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. I, uh... Decided I work better when I or do better in general when I have when I'm busy when I have projects When I have goals When I write them down in my little planner 
which I haven't been using very much because you know, it's 52 sheets and I'm not even 52 pages and I'm not even halfway through them and I've had it since like March no not that early um, May is like the end month the other end month May and I've been using this and no, I did not go through this process, nor had I planned on going through, shoot, uh, sticky fingers, sticky fingers, crud, shucky, shucky darns, I bet if I wouldn't have moved that, if I would have abutted that, nope, might have, might could have made it, let me just grab another one, speaking of, I need to make some of these papers, I end up doing them off camera, because of, I mean, I have done a video with them, but in order to transport, you know, I, I do one and then I put it over on this way onto uh, the twine that I have strung and let them drip dry, which basically is what I'm talking about. And it's just easier. You get in the rhythm. And this took me, I actually had to set it completely aside because I wasn't in where I wanted to film, but I wanted to work on it. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. And I am going to get a little bit of the yellow side. The one problem about hanging them is they especially I have two lines and they they overlap each other a little bit just because it was the shortest point in this room okay, I, this right. I keep thinking it for some whatever reason I was thinking I did it wrong cracking up at my dog because she was sitting just like a, a, a child, a baby, when they learned to sit with her feet straight in front of her, her and on completely on her rear. As they used to say, she has her C bottom. As in the letter C. You know, legs, but C. I heard that when my son was... Well, May has still been pregnant with my son. I have a... Hang on. Okay. I was listening to a car alarm. And, you know, every time I hear a car alarm in this residential neighborhood, I'm always making sure it's not my car. Shouldn't be. There's no reason it could be. Am I still in frame? Yes, I am. I put uh, hot glue on the bottom of this because, you know, I've talked about it before, uneven table. And it actually keeps it from moving as easily. For which I am grateful. Yes, I'm not talking to you. I am a girl. Alright. So, let's commence to getting going, shall we? What did you guys do this weekend? I took yesterday... Well, Friday was very quiet. I had, to, I had to have a quiet day on Friday. I just... I just had to have a quiet day. You know how it goes. Sometimes you just need solitude. <laughs> um, put that aside. I'm cutting. Seems to work. The abutting up to the edge doesn't always work very well. So I'll stick with my standard. And I will be doing this until I can finally get a decent cutting you know, machine. Uh, Tommy over at Paper Crafting with Miss Tommy swears by hers, and it's something about precision. Fiskars precision. I think she said something, something, something. I did buy one. It was a, uh, you know, through Amazon, one of those open box ones, and there was minor cosmetic damage, and I gambled and lost because it was missing the key part of it 
the part that holds the paper down. So I was using a big ruler like this and sliding it in there and it worked, but I figured if I'm gonna pay over $60 for something, I want it to work the way it's supposed to. I don't wanna have to jerry-rig everything. Isabeau's sucking her blankie. I should get a picture of it and then and put it on my video. But she's really, really good about every time she sees the camera pointed at her to look away. To stop what she's doing. Look away, look away, look away. Take the photo. Oops, sorry. I gotta get my lady girl here. There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. Quick second. I'll include it at the end of this video. So you can all see the Lammy girl of which I speak. And I am going to remote. Because if not, my paper wrapper. Now let me take a slurp of coffee. It's been long enough since I brushed my teeth. It shouldn't taste horrendous. And it does not. Oh, so I'm trying to think of what I did yesterday. Hmm. I ripped up some carpet. I hauled all the carpet upstairs and out. I plan on renting a dumpster at the beginning of next month. So I can just get rid of all the carpet and not have to worry about renting a U-Haul van and going to the dump, to the dump, to the dump, dump, dump. To the dump, dump, dump. I don't want to have to mess with that. And it, you know, we all, for those of you who know, I try not to talk about it a whole lot. I try. I try. Um, I have multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed in 06. So, what is that, 17 years now? Wow. Um, my first official flare-up was in 05. And it was terrifying. I uh, woke up one morning and my right hand was numb. Um, I, my tongue, not my tongue, my, if, if all, at all possible, my teeth felt numb. And around my mouth. And then I went to work. I had a new job in a nursing home. And if anybody's been in a, in a nursing home, worked in a nursing home in any capacity, you know what it's like. How busy and overloaded you are and anyway so I had 18 patients I had past meds to brand new didn't have the luxury of oops calling in sick or anything like that I tried to get a leave of absence and they refused to allow it they weren't a very nice company anyway um and there for a few years you know I Wow, I did, in comparison, remarkably well. You know, it still... It wasn't great. Anyway, so, because of that, I have limited energy. Um, plus, I tend to be a... All, full speed ahead or all stop. I, why I'm being so persnickety about this, I don't know. But it, it, I don't like white on the edge and this far out from the edge because it does not. There. Close enough. Just stop being precious. Which is a phrase I first heard on Carrie the Crafter. I'd never heard that phrase before. At least I think in my memory that's who it came from. Okay. Anyway, here we are. Is that good enough? Let's take a good, goodly hunk out of it, if we can. Now, this might be a little bit harder. I used texture paste. I think that's what I used. Well, first, I covered the whole thing with clear gesso. Then I used this, stand it up, this stencil. And then I did use 
and step over to the side and used modeling paste. I don't know what it's called. And it goes, it lasts a long time. I, I suppose if you used it all the time, it wouldn't. You know, I I can imagine that Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Louise Heinzel uh, go through a lot more than I do. That's how I created the honeycomb pattern. And then, I'm doing a long king jump. I'll get it in a minute. Oops. Almost. But not quite. After all, almost is good enough for government work, right? Hand grenades, horseshoe, and government. Close enough. All right. These over to this side. Rub my nose a little bit because I'm okay. There, there, and there. Now I'm in the right orientation. And I'm gonna move this mat. Sorry about the glare again, but it is what it is, and y'all are just gonna have to put up with it. All right. So modeling paste. Then I went and used my. Express spray stain, and I don't know the difference between between these in barn door and excuse me fossilized amber. Shoo, here we go, and I have no plan past that because I really like this. The other thing I used was some walnut stain. And I couldn't get this blue to work. So what did I use? I used my metallic watercolor in the blue. I think it was this blue. I did get new watercolors from the T site. It might have been this color. It was this color. So I used number 12, which looks like that. Now, it's supposed to be sparkly, like glittery, it says, but I didn't find the glittery to be as good as the metallic. Um, so that's what I did on top of that. I, like, again, I tried this speckled egg and it didn't work. I wanted to bring out, compliment the blue that was in there, which is more aqua. So then I used this tiny little, blah, 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 this little tiny thing of... It says Luminart in Egyptian gold. And I thought I had to, it was like a hockey puck dry. And so I just kept adding water and water and water and then mixed it up. It seems to have, I haven't checked it yet, so I'm checking it now. The same basic texture as, as this from, uh, who's this from? It just says metallic gilding polish. Who's it from? Creative Expressions. There we go. I bet I can take that off. Anyway, so that's what I did, and I just rubbed over the honeycomb. Just kind of willy nilly. Poor willy and nilly. Poor willy went all nilly. I don't know. Um. I really, really like this, so I'm really not sure what, if anything else, I want to add to it other than some of these, because, well, I cut them out for this purpose, so the bee's knees. I may do some stamping. In fact, I don't have a lot of bee stamps. I mean, I do have some. Um, I have the How You Bee. And then, wishing you the best you can be. And there's another one. Where in the world? It's a little... Where in the Carmen San Diego did it go? Oh, come on. Don't be this way. Oh, just catch that. Just catch that. Do you see what I did there? 
sure is being a pain. I have another new subscriber whose name I forgot to write down. I could do it right now, but I always feel that it's rude to look on my phone even though I keep doing it. <laughs> no. I'm so bad. Well, it was around here somewhere. It was in this vicinity. The other stamp I want to, if I have time and we'll shut up, I want to show you this one, which is like the coolest thing ever. I mean, look at that. Four different stamps on one wooden block. It is by, <clears throat> excuse me, Embossing Arts Company, and it's circa 1999. So, love that stamp, and I will try to hurry up and get done so I can, I am going to rip up some of this, even though it has red on it. One, two, three, and what was I going to do? I was going to do something before I distracted myself with that stupid stamp. Okay. Um, if anybody knows how to use Yes Paste, would you please drop me a note? Because I don't know how good this is. It's still really tacky, really sticky. Um, it does glue. I just can't figure out how to apply it evenly. And, you know, what kind of brush to use. If anybody's used it, please, please, please let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. Alright, stop looking for the stupid stamp because you can't find it. And that was the one I really, really wanted to. So, I'm going to bring out the stamps I have been using, I thought. These are not them. I didn't put them in there. No, I did not. And I'm talking about my acrylic stamps, in which all bleh, acrylic stamps are in here, along with the Your Creative Studios and some others that I have in my stamping block, in my cleaner, and more of these envelopes, clear envelopes. And now I'm going to look for the stupid B ones that I put away. Because, you know, why keep everything together when you can separate them? Am I right? Okay, no, 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 no. I feel like Madeline Kahn in History of the World, part one. No, 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 yes. Yes. No, no. No, no, oh, for crying in a bucket. Now, I don't know how I'm going to incorporate all of these into the big tower um, cupboards, drawer thingies that came with all those glorious wooden stamps. I have a video on that. Oh, for crying out loud. You've seen me go through each. I'm going to do it again in every one of these. Because I know it goes in one. There's my sewing. There's my bubble. I'm going to get that out. No. Oh. not easy ouch to get in and out oh because I put it in here ah that 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 good night that was like oh boy I don't feel very smart after that one that's all right what I can do is stamp this little guy and this guy and maybe one of these I do like this, but I think I have enough texture and oddity shapes. So I'm going with this one. I'm going with this one. All right. First, we are going to stamp. There's my 
freehand stamping sponge. Or foam. I always call it a sponge. It is not a sponge. Duh. And there's the big old bumblebee. And here's your little little one. Thinking of what color. I think I'm going to go with vintage photo because the other one I have is, you know what, no, ground espresso so I know that it shows. So I know that it shows. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So I talked about yesterday where I really didn't, I say I didn't do much, I actually did quite a bit, but, and I accomplished everything in the last two days on my little handy dandy planner list, so yay me. I did not just fritter away the day doing nothing. I actually did something. Put the smack down on it. Put the hurt. I usually have shown that I do this on that stamping platform, which I researched and researched and looked at stamping platforms. I'm barely there, but that's okay. And came up with the Tim Holtz one. That was what I decided to go for. Stamp off sheet. See, Candace, if you're watching, I can be good. I can, I can, I can. And then, um, so I, I got one, a Tim Holtz one. Oh, these bees. These bees. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, I know, because I just, just yesterday, sent off a happy mail to uh, Mitzi f for her. I'm not gonna say anymore, but I used some of those, and I was trying to remember. Wait a minute. This this looks different. What did I do yesterday? And like I said, it's just barely, barely, barely there. It's barley there. And for these, I think I'm going to put ooh, hot flash. I know. It's early in the morning. Well, fairly early. I used to not. I kid you. I, I kid you not. But I used to only have hot flashes. I started after 3 o'clock. Weird, I know, but that's the way they were. And now, well, they're like, you know, what they call a... Hornets and yellow jackets and um, wasps and the like. They just occur whenever they want. Whenever they want. Alright. So, good enough for that. I don't want to take all day. I'm trying very hard to not be all up in my head with stuff. Not easy. Being cheesy. Am I right? Yes, I am right. I use a little bit more. Yes, I do want to go all that same day. I was just using the ground espresso, so I should continue in that vein. I really should. I've got several of these type of things. This I learned from Tommy at Paper Crafting with Miss Tommy. So, it doesn't do to have everything in basic white. And these came in, they were in one of those drawers of, you know, all the stamps and crafting supplies. Yeah, this. And it had the American flag stamped a little bit on it, but that's okay. I'm gonna probably cover, oops, cover it up. Now let's try this a little bit better. I'm trying to think of anything that majorly has gone on. Oh, Friday I went to the lake um, and took Isabeau, obviously. And she played in the water and, you know, explored. 
all over the place and had a grand old time. Um, got absolutely filthy, dirty, face planted in the water a couple of times, which was really funny to watch. She was got herself on just a little bit of a higher elevation and that way that's good good enough anyway so she took a step and the water was deeper and she you know kind of got her face in the water and then as she was she was like okay I've had enough of that that's not what I wanted that's not what I expected and then she uh you know did the whole like okay I'm gonna jump to shore because it was a little bit deep deeper than she wanted to mess with and she just shy of the bank and unfortunately I was you know holding my phone and filming so I didn't I missed that last face plant and I was kind of disappointed because it was kind of, it was really funny I know laughing at your dog probably not the nicest thing but come on now it was funny I don't care who you are that was funny I remember my wet rag on my right side. I think it's down there. There's this thing. Yeah. All right, it's staying now. Let's see if I can just pick up some of this paste. We didn't stay a whole long time. There's not a whole lot to do there if you're not fishing. Or, you know, just cruising the lake for whatever purpose. So, there wasn't, like I said, there wasn't much to do. It didn't last very long. But it was nice while we went. I might turn around and take her back tomorrow. I chose not to yesterday. thought about it. But, you know, me peopling weekend mid 80s you see where I'm going mm, I think most of that lake is on private like the shoreline is private houses because it was very short all right that way that way and that way again Right orientation. Sticka. Sticka, 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 sticka. Now I did enough, I think. Well, now that I have only three, I did enough for like four. And then realized if I cut them in half and then sideways, I was going to have way more than four. So now we have extras. We have plenty to go around. Oops, and then I moved it. That one. That one. Want a bumblebee on each. There. Let's just leave it as is. Yeah, all right. I know. Even numbers. What can I say? So lake fun. And that was Friday. So yesterday, yeah, I really kind of just did whatever, did stuff around the house. It is very hard, I've difficult, I've noticed. Oops. Almost ripped this. To get everything done. You know, housework and this. All of it seems difficult to me. Maybe it's not for other people. I'm not the best at time management. But I am getting better. Like I said, as long as I have like a, a chore chart... <laughs> I don't know, what am I, five? Yep, me and George Hart. 
I do better. I really do. I want my little bee guy to just I want him to be landing. Should have put him on last. Oops, live and learn. There we go. I'm gonna put him closer up. Hmm. Probably not. I probably could add a whole lot more. I know I can. And I may later. He's climbing up towards that guy. He wants to take that guy on. He's like, I bet you reach in there, sting you, and be back out for you, even noticed. One down. Dos mas to go. I think I lost some of these. In all honesty, I think they're floating around somewhere. It's been sitting here for like three days. I think I did this on Thursday. I don't think I did it on Friday. Friday seems awfully close. Oh, I don't think I told you the naughty, naughty, naughty thing she did. And you know who I'm talking about when I say she. Mm. Ooh, I was so steamed at her. So I had a pair of sandals, white sandals. And I went out with my friend Jen again Saturday night, which I talked about. I don't think I said this story, but anyway. So I get home, and I don't notice it at night, obviously, because I get home at like 10 o'clock at night. Dark. And next morning I go out, get the chickens up, kind of scour the yard. And there is one of those white shoes just chewed to H-E double hockey sticks and back. <clears throat> all because I dared leave her at home and go out with a friend so yep I know I've said this before I've thought it before but nope no more freedom when I leave because she just cannot be trusted mm -mm -mm, cannot be trusted because she's a naughty girl Sometimes. But seriously, chewed it all up. She has never chewed a, chewed a shoe as long as I've had her. Oh, I'm just so steamed at her for that. But I hadn't worn those shoes ever. I got them on like a super good deal when one of the Payless shoe source shoes stores was... If I can even say that, pay less shoe store uh, was going out of business. You know, pay less went out of business brick and mortar stores, I guess, at least in that area. And I, you know, but I liked them at the time. And then I decided they look like old lady shoes, so I wouldn't wear them. I don't know why I put that up there because, well, oops. Stomach's already growling. Oh, if you heard that, I am so sorry. That was my stomach. There we go. Put that there. And it does kind of not stand out very well. That's all right. That's all right. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. Oh, geez, I'm getting really quiet because I gotta concentrate on everything.
And they're kind of staying far away from this guy. They've decided, I don't like him. And there's another bug up there that I don't like. So we will kind of... That really does blend in with that. And I wasn't thinking of that when I put it there. Come on. Come on. You can do it. So today I just plan on doing filming. And what else did I put on my list? Oh, I want to rip up another area of carpet down here. I am... I, I did talk about this renting a dumpster, so sometimes I forget what I said almost as soon as I've said it. There's just something about it when you film. And I don't prep and write out a list for the most part of what I'm going to say, and I'm just not that minded. I kind of go with the flow and for once. Just paper, right? And all of your creativity that went into it, and you know, the heartbreaking, <laughs> stomach sinking feeling when it doesn't work out. All right. And then there's that. There's that. Here we are. Oops. Put this over there. And I'm going to ink with. Now, honestly, I never knew you could ink with this stuff, like just edges, because I'd never seen it before. I didn't know that was, I know, was loud. I know I hear myself. I hear myself. But it's, well, you know, it's just me. This is who I am and how I am. And, oh, I don't know. Oh, bye -bye. I also wanted to edge these in gold, because, you know in with the gold I have on there. We'll see how it works. Hmm. What do you have planned for the week? I don't have much planned. Caregiver, I'm basically on call, and so while he's easy in some aspects, it's not easy in others. But at least most of my time free, and since well, I don't really like to work as much. Here we are. I'm playing gold. Gold slugger. Of which we don't have. I don't like it. I tried it once. <laughs> Did not care for it. Ugh, too much. It doesn't need to be perfect, right? It doesn't need to be perfect. It can be heavier in some areas and lighter in the others. And I'm talking myself through this. I'm sure all... <laughs> Anybody who watches this, all my subbies and anyone else, you may just glance through, you know this, but I have a hard time embracing the imperfections. And I just got it all over my palm. Great. Not all over, but just a little bit. See how it's really, you know, like really smooth brownie butter almost. Or whipped eggs, like, you know, egg whites, making a meringue. Or I could be completely wrong. Sometimes, oops, I... Well, say the wrong word 
without knowing that I did, or omit a word without knowing I did, add a word, that kind of thing. And not realize what I'm doing. And get the wrong word if I didn't mention that one, too. I've noticed this stuff doesn't stay uh, wet, for lack of a better word. That won't come to mind. This stuff dries really fast. And it makes it... When I, when I say dries really fast, I'm speaking to your, fing <laughs> your fingers. Your first and first ever... Uh, crafting tools. They're useful for all sorts of things. Oops. Oh well. Stop saying oops and just embrace it for what it is. Mm. Sorry if I sound a little heavy breathing. Um, you know, I live in the Pacific Northwest and we've got quite a few wildfires. Oops, talking really slow, low again. Ooh, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. <sighs> I'm so dropsy. Uh, we have a lot of wildfires going on. You know, not as many as Canada. I think I saw on the news they said they have like 236 fires going or some ungodly number of wildfires going, going on. Um, I don't know where exactly they are up there. If they're all in, you know, one province, I think they're called. I should know this. Uh, anyway, while I don't have, uh, excuse my stomach if you heard that. Okay, stop, stop stomach. Anyway, they're, uh, it's messing with my ability to breathe through my nose. But I don't have asthma, so thank God for that, all right? All right, so, oh, there's the other thing we can add. I'm thinking it. I should have had it out, but I didn't think about it. So I'm over here at my wall bookshelves getting out some ribbon. I have a couple more of these. looking for a certain one. I had two. Oh my gosh. I thought I had two. Oh, say it ain't so. Well, as I'm fond of saying, crap on a crap cracker. how it looks. I am going to add some this one. That one. Burlap. For, uh, oh, ice. Somebody out there in YouTube land is going to be very, very happy in about three days. That's all I have to say. I'm going to be very, very happy. These two. <laughs> I just really irritated at myself, y'all, because I had this other ribbon that was honeycombs. I thought I had two. I only have one. You're welcome. That's all I'm going to say to that. You're welcome. You know who you are, or you will know who you are in a few days. And I am going to attempt to see if I can burn these edges without. Otherwise, it unravels quickly, very quickly. There, hopefully. Uh -uh. I'm going to do one this way.
keeping really quiet again, trying to think. There's a pull or handle or whatever you want to call it. And it will dry nicely and strongly. Not worried about that. And for the other two, just so irritated at that ribbon. Oh! Erg. Well. Oh well. It is what it is what it is, right? It is what it is what it is. Will be what it'll be what it'll be. Ha! B. I just saw it. I heard that. I just heard that. And the one thing, I, I bought an inexpensive tiny attacher. You know, basically one you'd portable, you know, itty bitty one you'd take to school. And it doesn't have, oh my gosh, my stomach needs to shut up. It does not have uh, very much room for the rest of it. So it's kind of stapled on there, wonky. Oh well, leave it. Actually, let you glue a little bit. Urg, uh, urg, urg, urg. It's one of those you love it when a plan comes together and you don't like it when it falls apart or you feel like it does. The attacher didn't attach very well. I'm sure from what I've seen the Timmy one has a deeper clearance, but oh well, I wasn't going to pay $18 for one. You know, that's what it boils down to, is not wanting to pay the price or being able to afford the price. Good, 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 good. All right, so we're attached with just staples. I don't know what that, who that was. Oh, just email. I'm keeping my phone up here. It's on silent, but just in case, you know. Joe texts. All right. black, it's got the gold, it's got the white. I want it to go right over these staples. See how it starts to unravel really fast? I remember back in the day when I used to have lighters of plenty. But I have not smoked cigarettes in almost four years. Almost. Now it doesn't sound like a lot to people, but to someone who smoked for the better part of 30 years, it's huge. It be huge. Anyway, you used to have plenty. No longer have that many. is making a little bit more bulk. Yes it is, yes it is, yes it is. Oh, Let's see, it just unravels. It's gonna irritate me. Y'all, it's gonna irritate me. I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm not gonna do it for this one. Because I'm not sure I like it. In fact, I just don't like it. Nope, don't like it. 
it was okay, but I don't feel that it added much to it and it kind of was distracting. Sorry, just blowing through the glue hole. The opening. Alright, so here are the three tags it took me all day to make. Sorry about that. And, let me see how long have I been going. About a while I've been going an hour. An hour on three tags. Wow! Wowza! But very quickly, if I can find a piece of paper, find something to stamp on. Here we go. I will show you this. Because I like it so much. And then I'll shut up. So. Rub, rub, rub. Eight right orientation. There's one. And if you don't stamp off and clean each one when you do it, boy, your hands. I had these phrases on my hand half the day yesterday. There's the other one. And number three. Right? Yep. And then this one. So here we are. Isn't this the, like the coolest stamp ever? I mean, seriously, I can't see because I'm missing. Make sure I'm in frame. Oh, see? There we go. Isn't that just the coolest? Anyway, okay, on that note, I'm going to shut up and do my closing. If you like what you have seen today, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, drop a comment in the comment box, even if it's just a smiley face. Thank you, Ellen. Um, and until... The next time I bid you adieu and peace out guys. Bye.